right, we're here. Day two, starting us off. We're getting ready for the monster stack here in a little bit. And guess what we finally have? We finally have Jim. <laughs> so, Jim, we were supposed to do this whole vlog, vlog thing together, um, but you were too busy whining and dining, I schmoozing, was. kissing I was... babies, <laughs> shaking hands. Uh, That's so, right. we didn't get to really connect yesterday, but uh, here we are. Finally, day two. We're ready to go. Uh, how are you doing? I am super excited and a little bit nervous. Uh, we're here outside the Monster Stack. We've got a little time before it starts. Um, it's our first bracelet event of the series, yep. so I'm excited to be here. Yeah, it's been great. I've been meeting up with a bunch of uh, Rec Poker members and fun people from the poker world, and uh, I'm just excited to be here playing cards. Oh my God, yeah, it's finally, WSOP time. Finally, uh, I mean, you don't need to, we won't talk about how I did yesterday. Uh, we'll just, we'll <laughs> let that go. I wasn't gonna bring it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll let that go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the plan for today, Monster Stack, obviously, like yes. plan one and one A and one B is just like run deep in the Monster That's Stack. It. That's it. Um, it's going to be 11 hours of play. It's probably going to take us till midnight if we can bag. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Any backup plans uh, if we do bust? Well, it's uh, a tricky thing. So as, as you know, you know, a lot of these events are multi-day events. So we can't sort of pre-register for anything that's happening over the next few days. And I do have a couple backup plans, but I'm hoping I'm just going to be playing in Monster Stack for the next four or five days. But just in case something goes terribly wrong or unlucky, um, there's a $300 mystery bounty at the Nugget that has a bunch of flights starting uh, today and tomorrow. So that's our back, that's my backup plan. That's where I'm going to be sneaking over with my tail between my legs if I bust out of this one early. Yeah. What about I, you? I might be joining you. We'll see uh, timing and how you're doing and if you're heading over there. Maybe we'll time it out. We'll go over together and we'll do a <laughs> little like taxi ride uh, yeah. uh, vlog at the same time. But otherwise, you know, they have the deep stacks here. Um, not too keen on the $400 turbo that they have at 5 o'clock, but um, we'll see. Uh, We'll see what mood strikes me for some of those There's things, always, they, they have a good set of dailies, um, mm -hmm. and it's not just here. I mean, one of the great things about Vegas is there's card rooms as far as the eye can see, and uh, if you can head over to the Rec Poker forums, there's a great resource post there with great all sorts resources. of spreadsheets and lists mm -hmm. of different tournaments that are being played. Um, and if you're like Taylor and I, you kind of like to be prepared on that kind of front, so. I've, I've got my plan, like, <laughs> I, it may sound like I don't have a plan, like I got my plan, I know exactly what's going on. It's just gonna be where does the mood strike me for yes. where I would play, but obviously plan 1A. Just run yeah. deep in the monsters. Just, like, yeah, like, let's do it. then like, There's I don't need any other plans here. for the next five days. I'm just yeah. gonna hang out here and play. So, hopefully it goes well, but. Um, yeah, I know you haven't you haven't played any cards on this trip yet, have you? No, I have not, Yeah. no. Um, so, a couple things that I've noticed, one, the water cooler mm. arrangement is just phenomenal this year. There's a ton of water coolers around. So if you're coming out here for the World Series, bring yourself uh, a reusable water bottle. Um, it's a lifesaver. You can just fill it up. Last year it was like they had one and it was in the back corner of the room. Um, but now it feels like there's a ton out there. So um, I'm a water fiend. I have to just, like, <laughs> stay up on my water. So uh, that's good. Um, the other thing that's kind of uh, I thought was interesting, but like you go on breaks here and it's like 15 minute breaks. Mm -hmm. And to the second. Yeah, like you got that. So, you know, set your timer. You know, you set a timer on your phone. But I think the 200 IQ play here is don't set a timer. And just wait and hear all the other people's timers go off in the room because <laughs> everyone's got an iPhone right. and everyone's got a timer going off at that like 15 minute mark, 20 minute mark, whatever it may be. So you kind of hear all those uh, just like chiming and ringing throughout the entire casino. So it's kind of funny, but it's a smart play. Plus think about all the calories you're saving by not setting that timer yourself, right? Yeah. You don't get that energy exactly. back. Yeah. Otherwise you got to conserve you gotta, that for you, the table. You got to conserve, but um, <laughs> all right, cool. Why don't we, let's go walk around. Let's check out the scenes and then we're gonna be starting up the monster stack. I'm so excited. We'll check let's in do with this. you again soon. All right, here we are. Morning of day two, getting some uh, early studying in. This is how we prepare for the monster stack today. We're running some sims, and then uh, on this side, this is how Jim's preparing. This is also very important preparation work, Taylor. I just want you to know, we all have our skills and strengths. I'm glad you're like studying up on your awesome poker stuff, but you know, someone's got to make the sandwiches too. You can't make good decisions on an uh, empty stomach, can you? No, we're fueling <laughs> for the, the crucible ahead. Yes.
All right, first break of the monster stack. How are we doing, Jim? Uh, thank God it's a monster stack. I took a couple shots in the first orbit and lost about 10%, but I still got 90% of the monster stack, so I'm feeling pretty good. So like 45K? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. What about you, Taylor? So that's like just a couple hundred big blinds. I know, it's crazy. Like it is a so, great structure. So I think so we're fine. Really uh, I was card dead to start, but level two was amazing for me. I'm up to 70K, which is like, I don't know, 350 yeah. big blinds when we come back, so we got a lot going on. <laughs> All right, we're here on the third break. We missed the second break. I was talking to my wife. Such a um, good husband, this guy. Can you believe it? Yeah, why would I do that? Um, so uh, not going too well. I was up to like 75K, but now I'm down to 35K. It'll be 35 bigs when we come back. And Jim? I'm down to 15, but I got a chip in a chair, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's chip in a seat, but we're going to go for it. <laughs> All right. All right. Jim and I are back in the room, but, but it's, it's because dinner. it's okay. It's okay though. It's dinner break. It's dinner break. <laughs> we got a dinner break. We're just chilling out in the room, but our chip sacks could be better. We're both below average. Jim's at like 45 K yeah. like 40 bigs or something like that. And I've got 30 and a half K uh, coming back to 20 bigs and 30 yeah. ish. Yeah. It's so like uh, still doing all right, but uh, hopefully we can run it up on those last uh, few levels of the day. Let's go. All, all right. right. So, my Twitter's down for some reason. I can't get any updates, but you did, you doubled up, right? I like did. you got a whole bunch of hands. So I did. what was the, what happened? So I got really lucky. Um, I was getting short, I had about 15 big blinds, and I looked down and what do I see? A small pocket pair. You know what I had to do? Put them right in the middle. I was getting worried because I got called from the guy in the big blind and he had pocket kinks. But luckily for me, out comes the flop. And what do I see? A low card that matches my pair. Went boom, right back at double up, and I think there's a certain name redacted. Pretty pleased about this. Perfect. <laughs> that's all for you later, buddy. All right, that's it for me in the monster stack. I got kings under the gun, uh, made a min open, got three bet, four bet. Other guy had aces, just how it goes. Well, good luck to Jim. Jim's still alive. Hopefully, he can run deep. Hey, gang, just me for this one. We got uh, one more hour of play in the monster stack tonight. And uh, still got some chips, so we're rooting for a bag. Uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully, I'll be. I'll have some good news for you all tomorrow. Hey, gang. So, end of uh, day one of the monster stack. Uh, we applied some pressure on some players in the last level. Got some good hands, of course. That helps a lot. And uh, we managed to chip up to ninety-eight thousand five hundred. So that's going to be about thirty big blinds when we come back for day two on Sunday. All in all feel great. First first uh, event of the series, found a bag, had a great time, made some friends, and uh, that's going to wrap up day two of our vlog. Check on in tomorrow for day three. Thanks.